Libra, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. I'm sorry this one's a little bit late for the air signs, but it's for this week. Starting today, December 9th, guys. December has been an incredible month of revelation and just acceptance and assimilating all of our lessons from this year. And it's going to help us really get clear and ready and pumped and primed for 2020. I'm super excited. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much for joining. If it serves you or resonates in some way, please like or subscribe below or share it with those you feel this might serve. So let's jump on into it, Libras. Let's see what this week holds you energetically and what guidance comes in for you. And this is for your sun, your moon, or your ascendant. So make sure you check all three. Let's see. What loving guidance do you have for the sign and energy of Libra? One more card. Does this be cold for the energy of Libra? Hey, guys, you know what? I'm loving this already for this, like today's readings. It's been great. Three of Wands, Two of Cups, The World, Seven of Coins, Page of Cups. Guys, this is beautiful, Libra. You know, you guys have been hustling and hustling for the past year or two. Just get on yourself, on your scholastic studies, on your career. And I think a lot of Libras, you know, I mean, it's such a loving energy. My, my best friend's a double Libra. But you guys really are. You guys have completed lessons, and I think they're really bringing your attention to this. Because maybe in the past year, you threw yourself into school or to studies or to your own self-development because maybe the emotional front wasn't exactly aligned. Maybe your emotional sphere could use some work, you know, and you just decided it was better to work on yourself, which of course it always is. But this week, with the Three of Gabriel and the Two of Cups, you guys are really moving forward and getting ready to receive soulmate energy now soulmates are romantic but they're also platonic yeah so if you're in a romantic relationship already this could also be your soul tribe these can be people that get you that resonate with you that have your back three of wands traditionally is you've already done the manifesting work we're manifesting all the time even when we're not happy we're manifesting and so if the past year in your emotional sphere has been a little less than pleasant or just a really big learning curve, understand by knowing what you don't want, you automatically know what you do want. And in that energy and in that focus and that own inner self-development and pushing yourself forward and up, you yourself has manifested. You already did the work. Three of Wands, traditionally, it's somebody who stands at the shore watching the ships come in. And those ships are carrying all of their abundance, prosperity, manifestations, blessings. All that's being asked of them at this moment is to align be a little patient and be open to receiving. A key to manifestation is the law of receptivity. And it drives me crazy how much this is not taught. They always teach about law of attraction, which is fantastic. Law of attraction, it's a, it's a real thing. But if we're not good at reopening and receiving it, it's like somebody at your door. What does it matter if they're knocking if you don't know how to open it? You know, People are always like, well, I'm trying to manifest my husband or my wife or a business partner. Well, in order to receive something like that, you have to be good at receiving. So you might want to ask yourself, am I good at receiving compliments? Am I good at receiving help? Am I good at receiving a free cup of coffee? Am I the kind of person that's like, no, 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 I got it. No, 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 I can handle it. Oh, you're, or they give you a compliment. Oh, no, I don't look that, you know, I'm, I, could, I could look better. If you can't receive something, something so energetically small as that, how are you going to receive something bigger? So what they're really asking you is to stay open and be receptive because you're going to be receiving more emotional fulfillment this week, Libra. Hey, yes, finally, you have the world card next to it, which tells me you guys have completed some, some pretty big lesson here. Now, this might be karmic. It might be a subconscious pattern, but you are done. How many times have you done this? Given that person that chance, tried to work it out, or even with friend groups, you know, been with people that you don't resonate, you just hang out with them because you know them, you're done. You know what you deserve. You deserve somebody who understands you, who respects your boundaries, who supports you who on an energetic level is aligned to you, you know, and that's what you're really receiving. You've learned some crazy lessons and now it's coming on in. The seven of coins says the universe is telling you, yes, we know that you've been patient. Yes. We know that you've been working on it. We hear you. We've seen you do the hard work and they're letting you know it was not for nothing. The seven of coins is telling you you've invested your time and your energy and your money. That could be in therapy and counseling. Well, you've done it well. And you're going to reap the benefits of it now. Now they're asking you, stay open and receive, but also let's look even further. So if you're saying, I'm going to use a partner. So if you're saying, I want to manifest my husband or wife, it's already coming in. Now they're asking you, I want you, they're saying, 
you know, now we want you to visualize, you know, five years past marriage. What is life like now? So imagine the house traveling, or if you, if you want to imagine manifesting that business partner, it's coming in. So now you want to think of it long term. We're grossing a million dollars a year. What's your next goal? They need you to keep your momentum moving. What you're trying to manifest now is already coming in. What's the next step? Page of Raphael, Page of Cups. This person or the, the person you're going to be meeting is going to be coming through socially. Page of Cups is a new emotional situation through invitations, through networks. So this can be holiday parties. This can be dinner parties, weddings, anniversaries, any kind of social group where you were invited into. You're going to be having a lot more opportunity, not just to make friends and to network, but to meet people who are aligned, right? Because when we're with people that care about us, genuinely see us, our best friends, our family, we are more aligned with who we are usually. Um, and we are more open and free and in that energetic frequency, you attract that soulmate energy into your life. So you've done a good job, Libra, and I applaud your patience because that is not one of my fortes. Um, so I understand. Be open to receiving. It's coming on and you've done a great work. A wrap on that last lesson. Be patient. You're harvesting it in. Think farther term now and just go have fun. It's going to be a great week. If you would like an extended reading or just a reading in general, my link will be down below. Otherwise, guys, great week and I'll see you next week for your weekly forecast readings.